Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel, and today I'm excited to present our work titled Human Perceptions on the Responsibility of AI, a case study in AI-assisted bio decision making. This work is a collaboration with Nina and Miyoung from KAIS, IBS, and Max Planck Institute. Well, AI systems are currently deployed in a wide range of consequential environments, for example, loan decisions or decisions to grant or deny bail. And in these environments, uh, the systems can cause real harm. Uh, and a lot of scholars have discussed basically who should be held responsible for any harm caused by, by autonomous AI systems. And many of them actually agree that this answer does not have a clear answer. And various authors discuss different solutions and different perspectives to this, to this question. Unfortunately, the HCI community is yet to give a lot of attention to this issue of responsibility and has focused on trust, fairness, which are also extremely important uh, issues posed by, by autonomous systems. Uh, the few studies that actually address responsibility often use scenarios that are not realistic, such as the trolley problem, and treat responsibility and blame as synonyms or responsibility as a single concept. However, that is not really accurate. There's a lot of literature in the law, psychology, and philosophy that discuss this pluralistic concept of what responsibility is, right? And in this work, we actually focus on eight distinct notions that could apply to both humans and AI agents. As a background, we actually use the COMPASS algorithm, right? This, the system that has been used for, for bail decisions in the US and that has received a lot of attention uh, like by uh, bias and fairness literature uh, in the past. And we basically pose the question of how to lay people attribute responsibility to both AI systems and humans involved in bail decisions. What we observe uh, is that people attribute responsibility in three different clusters. The first one is forward looking that actually concerns things that have not yet occurred. The second one is this responsibility for explaining or justifying one's decisions. And the third one is backward looking, which actually concerns things that have already happened in the past. We also observe clear differences like between AI and human agents across these three uh, clusters of responsibility. First, we found that people expect both humans and AI advisors to explain their decisions, which highlights the importance of explainable AI. Uh, on the other hand, we found that humans were attributed uh, higher levels of this forward-looking notions of responsibility and that they were attributed higher obligation, more authority, more, more task and more skills in, for making and assisting bail decisions than their AI systems counterparts. On the other hand, what we found is that humans in AI were blamed to a similar level. They also expected these two entities to compensate those harm to the same extent. We explained these results based on previous work in cognitive science and we also discussed what would it mean to blame an AI system. There's quite a lot of literature, particularly by philosophers, discussing whether that would be possible and what it would actually mean. Well, in summary, uh, we actually studied how, how lay people attribute responsibility to both humans and AI agents in the context of bio decision making. First, we found uh, that people expect these two entities to explain their decisions, which uh, underlines the importance of explainable algorithmic decision-making. Second, we found that humans were attributed higher levels of forward-looking moral responsibility, while AI systems and humans were attributed similar levels of backward-looking notions, such as blame, liability, and causal responsibility. Well, I'm excited to hear all the questions that you might have uh, during, the, during the live session. If any of you are interested, feel free to, to check our website, which is down there. And also drop me an email if you want to have a chat. Okay, thank you very much.